Hi, uh, in this video I'll show you how to create a reference table with Power Query. Now what do I mean by reference table? Let's say for example we have a range of data here. This is a table. We have a, a range of data. We have our SKU, shipment status, and country. And this is a hundred, a thousand, a little bit over a thousand records here. We want to take from one column and get a unique list of SKUs, right? This can be done actually fairly simply in Excel. If I go to data, and I have my table here. I select my SKU, control shift down arrow, control C to copy. Let me go back up top here and then put it into another column. Go to home, paste values, and it's going to paste all these values here. And if I go to data, click remove duplicates, my data has headers because it uh, hit the first one, the first row here has a header. Click OK and it's going to tell me I have 107 unique values remaining. Right? So that's one way that we can do it. And this would suffice if this was just a one-time occurrence. But if this was something that we did on a recurring basis, weekly, maybe daily, maybe hourly, hopefully not, doing, this multi doing these multiple steps is probably not a good use of your time. A better use of time may be to write a macro, which I don't know how to write, or pulling it into Power Query. I have a Power Query tab available here. Power Query is an add-on that you can download from Microsoft.com if you have Excel versions 2010 or 2013. In Excel 2016, it's included as part of the application. Since I have Power Query tab here, I've already downloaded it and enabled it. What I need to do is I need, I need to take this range of data and put it into a table format. It's already in table format, but let me try to start from scratch here and show you how it's done. Let me select anywhere in this table, Control A to copy. You can see it only selected the row two and on. Let me press Control A again, so it'll select row one. Control C to copy. Open up a new worksheet, and let me just paste this as values. Right, so this, it, it's not a table right now. I'll select the whole worksheet, double click the column uh, line here, so it'll auto fit. You can see everything is there. Now what I want to do is turn this range of data into a table first before I put it, pull it into Power Query. For those of you that know Power Query, you can actually just click on Power Query and, and import this data in and it will already turn it into a table. But there's a lot of advantages of having your, having your range of data as a table already. Maybe you can do some things to it prior to that. So let me go this route where I'm going to turn it into a table first. I'll select anywhere within this range of data, just one cell, call it Insert, and click Table and my table has headers so it, the first row is a header click OK and it's going to turn into table with all the nice little features of a table now what I need to do is go under Power Query and click on get Excel data from table it's going to bring up the query editor and in here if all I needed to do was just get a unique value out of the SKU list I can just get rid of these two columns I can right click that and click remove other columns to get rid of those two columns and right click again and click on remove duplicates just to get the duplicates click close and load and what you see here is a new sheet is created here with just the unique values here if I click on the, the header up here or the column I can see we have 108 which includes this header here but basically it's given my unique list right so from this my source which I created it, it into a table we have our unique list and in this case, if I went to the very bottom here and I just entered in something new like stuff and let me try ship ready and let's say this came from France, right? If I click here in sheet 11, we have my query editor. Let me right click and click on refresh. You'll notice that it's gonna go through its, its little gyrations. If I go to the very bottom, you see that stuff will show up. Right? This is something that is a one-click thing. Now, there's another scenario that we have here. If it's something where I wanted to do some manipulation on this table, let me right-click and go under Edit. If I wanted to keep the columns and I wanted to do some manipulation on the table, there's another way that we can go and do this. Let me click on these steps here. Let me remove these steps. These are actually steps that uh, the query editor does as we did each, each step here. So it, it logged it. So we have our remove du duplicates. If I click on that, I'm going to basically undo that step. 
my columns will show back up, my, my uh, duplicates will show back up. I have this remove other columns step. If I undid that, my columns will show back up. In this case, let's say we had some manipulation we wanted to do with these columns. Maybe we wanted to add another column to do some calculations or stuff like that. We wanted to keep this as an output, we all, but we also wanted to have a separate worksheet where we had the unique values. So if I kept this as is, let's say I wanted to add another column here. Uh, let me just create a custom column here and I'm just going to append these two, the shipment status and the country together. So let me say shipment status, I'll just put and, and a dash, and then the country, right? Double click that, click OK. So I've done some further manipulation with the data here, right? I combined these two columns and I wanted to keep this into a separate worksheet. Let me go to home and click close and load. And now you notice this sheet 11 turned into this. So it outputted this particular worksheet. But at the same time, maybe I wanted a separate worksheet that had the unique values. And have that kind of automated every time I made changes to my source here, right? What I can do now is I can go under here, go back into my workbook query, right click, edit, and have a query off this query. So basically, it's kind of a subset query when you think about it. I can click on this, right click, and click add as new query. So I'm taking the SKU column and I'm adding a new query. So I'm querying from that particular column. So it's brought it into a new query. Let me just call this list. and. I can perform other types of transformation to this particular query. Here, this is where I want to remove duplicates. So I'm going to transform this. I can right click. There's a remove du duplicates command here, but I can also right click and say remove duplicates. And this will remove the duplicates. It'll give me back my 107 items. And under home, I, guess I can click close and load, and it's going to create a new worksheet here. So this will be my worksheet with my, my unique values. So I can, I'll just call this unique value so I won't confuse it a little bit uniques and also I'll call this a uh, modified modified uh, list table right so in this case now we have our source sheet 9 let me call this source right we have our source let's say I added something else stuff number two and this is not ship ready and maybe this is from Ireland right all I need to do now is click on Instead of clicking both these to refresh, I can go up here, click on data, refresh all, so it will refresh everything. You can see it performed its steps, and if I go all the way down, control down arrow, you can see stuff two showed up here in the modified table, right? And also, if I can click on the unique tab, control down arrow, stuff two also showed here in the unique uh, uh, list here. So this is a nice way to get a reference table out of another source table if you had to do this on a recurring basis. So I said before, if you had data and this was you were only doing it once and you were trying to just get uh, unique values out of your table source list, and you only had to do it once, going the route where we just copy and paste that column and doing the remove, remove duplicates is fine. But if this was a case where we had to do it on a recurring basis, weekly, daily, semi-hourly. Pull it in from a source table into Power Query and then pulling a separate query out of that initial query to get our unique values is probably another way that you can think about doing it to ease up on the time because all you need to do now after that if you had any changes to your source table is just to make those changes and do a data refresh all and it'll take care of that all for you. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.